up. Start with the quick track. I should be off beat. So I got it at 90 beats per minute. progression, the bass, I'm going to loop it, actually I'm going to quantize it first. What's quantizing? It makes it so if anything's a little bit off, it's just perfectly on instead. It's kind of soft, so it might be a drink beat. <laughs> but it's still going to be sweet and sell millions of records. Does he make a lot of money? Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I basically just duplicated the instrument I had, and I'm going to try to find something else that doesn't sell. Using the Nexus plugin, there's like a million different things you could use for picking sounds. This is what was handy for me today. These are all pianos. I'm trying to do something a little different. For those tuning in, we're live at Rock Hill Sound with Trey Pounds, Chop Shaw. Definitely a veteran Detroit producer here. What up, Facebook? Rocks TV in the house. He's giving us a little demonstration on what it's like to make platinum. My mic fell. That's all right. Are we done using these? Yeah, we can be finished with that. I'll just flip it back on. It could be a roast clip too. See that? Recording is what I already previously done, which is a I know. Went up. over the beginning stuff that was eh. What do you guys think of the beat? Usually when I make a beat live, like everybody wants to be the executive producer. It's kind of dumb. It's dope, but at the same time, it's like, like DJing a wedding. You can't satisfy everybody. Where's the rap stuff? Got some cool rap stuff on it. 
a trap folder. Let's go into the trap folder and see what we get there. We have the clicky noise. Oh, there's there's the beat. Just <laughs> probably quantize that first. So sometimes you don't play it perfect, and you just go in and cheat. What the studio's for? Spoiling all the magic. Bobby Doe, Mike James O'Malley said, "What up, Robert Dosif? What up, Doe? Trey Pounds is making magic in the studio and nice enough to show Rocks TV how it's done." All right, now comes the fun part where I have the thumb thumb. What are you adding? The thump thump. The 808s. The 808s in this program are not exactly the ones that I use, but they're nice too. I usually use the uh, new era 808s, but I don't have them installed on this computer. So we're going old school? We're going with just some... Needs some release. Needs to release the bass. That's not a button for it. This button. And this one. There we go. They're overlapping. So I gotta go and do some fucking mad scientist shit and go up in here so they don't overlap. Because they sound like shit when they overlap. Um, where the fuck is the button? Come on, da -da. Yeah. <laughs> Up, down, arp. Just like the number of voices. Oh, here we go. That is one hell of a board.
bass is probably so low that you can't hear it on these phone speakers, but trust me, it's jiggling my nuts. snare drums Fuck all that slop boom it's all gone forever now and then go over here Which drums do I want to use? Let me see what's in contact. Contact is a good plugin, it has lots of good stuff. Just tuning in, we're at Rock Hill Sound with Trey Pounds. He's showing us quickly how you can make platinum. Looking up that.
ourselves a little beat. That fucking uh, raver noise is a little loud though. That's what I call cooking crack. for verses and choruses and shit, but it's something we can listen to and enjoy for our ears, you know. And that's all it takes. One genius of the controls, and we have something to listen to and enjoy in less than 15 minutes. I don't know about genius, but I'm, I like what I do. Did I really do that in less than 15 minutes? Probably. Time in here? accomplished